We test many wireless headphones on these channels and no one of these is got even closer in sound quality to the Deva Pro. But unfortunately this iFi man that we are going to test today has two main problems. And if you want to know more about it, just keep watching, subscribe to the channel to support my work, hit the like buttons and let's speak about it. Launched in 2021, the Deva Pro is the update versions of the original 2020 Deva. The retail price is around 350 bucks, 350 euro, make it actually really affordable, but not only. It's also full of technology, like a planar magnetic driver with stealth magnet, Neo Super Nano diaphragm, and the Blue Mini R2R wireless module with LDAC AAC SBC technology. So pretty crazy considering the price range, right? The design is really similar to the 400 SE that we reviewed also on these channels, review available in descriptions. In my opinion, one of the best headphones in this price range category. And this time we find a silver grill instead the black one of the 400 SE. Make it look pretty modern, right? Plastic materials for pivot blocks and the cup grill that doesn't look cheap at all if compared it with the aluminum of the gimbal. Can tilt and swivel and also if it's not the lightest wireless headphones it's really comfortable. Thanks also to a good amount of memory foam on the pads that are really soft and I like the ear holes that are pretty wide. I don't know, something that look difficult for uh, headphones brands to do it, right? Most of them they do these small ear holes, but it's not the case of the iFi Man. Regarding the headband, we spoke already in the Sundara review, and yes, we'll compare it also with the Sundara. Is here, don't worry about it. In any case, I prefer these, how we call it, hybrid headbands. I found it more stable and is able to apply much less pressures on my head. You know guys, I don't have air here, so for me it's something really important. In terms of stability, as you can see, let's do a stability test. So it's moving a little bit here. It's okay, not one of the most stable headphones, but it's, it's fine. Let's check the Sundara. You see, it's, it's more stable on my head. So that's absolutely one of my favorite headband, something that I noticed also with Editions XS for example, and you can find the full review comparisons in description. So we already review and compared Editions XS versus Sundara versus Ananda release 1. Release 2 maybe is coming soon. You can choose the drive the Deva Pro with the blue mini module or directly with the stock cable. That is 1.5 meter long and is terminated with a 3.5 millimeter and a 6.3 adapter. And later in the sound quality we are going to compare both. Pairing the headphones on your smartphone is really really easy, plug and play. And Bluetooth has a huge range, Connected. something like 10-12 meters. Absolutely beautiful and is working great, I never had any connections problem. Battery levels is around 6 7 hours, so it's fine. I forgot to say that I run the Deva Pro at 50-60% of the volume, so you have all the powers that you need. So at 60% with this module is already really loud. The Deva Pro tonality is in somehow something closer to analytical, with a touch of planar magnetic i5 main sound signature. Colorations that I found unique, especially with strings, for example, that sound warm and crispy at the same time. Playing Hablame of Gypsy King, pick strings are rich with a great sense of touch. Love this song. Sub bass extensions is pretty roll off. Make it below 30 Hz. Sound tight? No, not really. And I could enjoy music genre like R&B, pop, reggaeton, rock and metals without any problem. Bass has speed fast and is coming with a good articulations and definitions considering the price range. The only music genre where I found that the bass is probably slightly shy is hip hop. Something to take it in consideration. Midrange is shining on the Deva Pro, never congested, realistic and is coming with a beautiful contrast. 
A midrange test is giving presence to the vocals, first and instruments following, or inside a sound stage that is full of ambience and harmonic decay colorations, rather than something annoying and pitch black. Female voices are sweet and male vocals are coming with body and presence. I have a rule, my first songs on to test timber, accuracy is Frank Sinatra, I've got a crush on you. And if it sounds good, then I move on with the performance test. And on Deva Pro was absolutely a beautiful reproduction. I really enjoy it. I like the colorations on instruments, like for example in the tenor sax of Ben Webster's Stardust is big, fat and airy. Tribal also, if not well extended compared to other headphones, are precise and delicate. On cymbal touch, that is never fatigue. And also if something strange that look like not many brands can do it. I don't know, most of them, they just push these tribals to give details and it just sounds fatigue, guys. I don't, I don't want to say that I like emphasized treble, but it's probably like that. Sub bass, also if rolled off, is emphasized on the upper bass, that letting the Deva Pro kicking hard with authority. Regarding soundstage and ambience, I placed this interesting track from Germany, Radioactivität, Kraftwerk, and I got a full immersion around my head, absolutely stunning. Soundstage that is probably not really wild and we'll speak about it in comparison with the Sundara, but it has this sort of reverb, ambience, call it how you want, that is giving you the feeling that you are listening to music in a bigger room rather than one small, or bigger head, head stage, sound stage. If you're going to test dynamic, let me recommend this track from the Living Stereo Recordings. And I have to say that Deva Pro didn't had any problem to handle a big orchestra. Beautiful, I really enjoy it, considering the technology and the retail price, Okay, so a really impressive authority and dynamic. I was really satisfied. Moving on cable connections, I powered with the HipTech 2. Review available in the descriptions and I dare you to find something better than that with this money. In any case, I got slightly more stability on dynamic, overall sound stage was cleaner and the tonality came out with slightly less colorations and more textures. This time's bass on the Opro was really full because on the hip deck you have the possibility to give this boost that is giving actually 10 dB, that's a lot. And I generally test many headphones with this plus 10 dB just to see if they can handle right all this sort of plentiful equalizations and absolutely no problem. I enjoy hip hop sub bass contents without any problems. So yes, if a great upgrade if you want to take in consideration to drive the Vapro also with cable. And now comparison with the Sundara, I perform a full comparison also powered with hip deck 2 and of course the same stock cable. But before to move on that, I want to say that regard comfort, right? I already told you that the Sundara is absolutely the winner. Regarding some quite a huge difference in tonality with the Deva that is more analytical with a forwarded upper bass and lower mid. Sundara is more balanced and extended on bottom end and treble. Deva has more colorations on instruments and voices, where Sundara promotes a more natural and neutral presentations with a better detailed retrieval. Regarding soundstage, where the Deva Pro on first sight could look more spacious and open, actually have a smaller soundstage. And let's take in consideration this living stereo recording from the orchestra that I was speaking about in the sound quality. Well, there is in this track, in the first track, the timpani in the Deva Pro are here really closer when they play and on the Sundara are here. So it definitely have a wider soundstage, just for give you an idea. So in the end, Deva or Sundara, not easy, right? Overall, Deva is really funny for a casual listening. And if you don't have problems with colorations and a more analytical and probably intimate presentations, then 
Tedeva is the headphones for you. Sundara is between entry level and Editions XS and you will start to get familiar with critical listening. What does it mean? That you will start to focus on instrument separations, textures, imaging and all this stuff. Good luck. What I want to say is that if with the Deva Pro you can purchase it and have fun with without stress yourself, with the Sundara you will find probably yourself to want always something more, right? You know what I mean? Sundara, ah, wow, okay, but I want something more. Let's try Editions XS, Ananda and so on. Both are great headphones considering the price range. And I love that are never fatigued. You can listen to music for hours and hours. And it looks like this is something really important that not every brand take it in considerations. You can have the best headphones in the world with a great sounds, great details, but if it's fatigue, ah, forget about it. And great to see that it was never an iFi man problem. I forget one thing important as soon you connect the Lumini device is absolutely not a problem. You have a lot of space and I never, I actually don't feel it. So no problem for this. But you probably understood that the main problems, the main two problems of these headphones, wireless headphones is that it's coming without noise cancelling and it is a open design. Make it probably not suitable for travel, going on the planes and listening music with someone closer to you, right? But if you don't have any problem with this and if you are looking absolutely for one of the best wireless headphones in this price range category, then the Deva Pro is the wireless headphones for you. From that is everything, I hope you enjoyed this short review. Subscribe to the channel to support my work and peace.